Welcome to Dinner Time Devotions. I look forward to these few minutes that we spend in God's Word together. And as we bumped into people uh, around the community, you've had kind words to say, so right back at you, thank you. Uh, Brandon's doing some of these, I'm doing many of these, but we're gonna introduce a few new people in the next few weeks who will take and give a devotional just so you meet some of the other leaders here at the chapel and their voices are worth hearing. Today I want to go back to a very favorite story of mine as a little boy. It's a story about Jesus healing a man who could not walk. What impressed me about the story was his friends. He was carried by four of them, so I can just picture they've got two poles, two men, one on each end of the pole, and some type of animal skin that ties the two of them together, and this man's being carried on what we would call a litter. And they brought him to Jesus, but they couldn't get in the house because there were so many people there. Uh, but not to be uh, dissuaded, uh, they persevered and his four friends went up and they started tearing the roof of this house apart. Now that seems like uh, pretty extreme measures and I would probably not like to be the homeowner who's having his roof torn apart. But roofs were not quite as structurally uh, solid as you and I have the privilege of enjoying today. A roof was a few poles stretching uh, like we might call floor joists and then they would have smaller branches coming the other way. Then they would put a lot of hay or straw, and then they would cover that with mud. And this is gonna sound strange, but the straw was their equivalent to our rebar. And so this then would be baked by the sun in place, and you would get a roof that would hold up under uh, some adverse conditions. Now, if you had high winds and hail and storms, uh, you're gonna be fixing your roof tomorrow. So roof repairs, everybody was skilled and everybody was able to do the roof repair. So these four men, not to be dissuaded, get to the top of the roof, tear it apart, put ropes on the litter, and they gently lower the litter down so the man now is positioned in front of Jesus. Uh, Jesus is taken back. 
he thinks this is really cool, that these guys would tear the roof apart to get their friend the help that he needed. So Jesus was moved by that. And Jesus said to him, take up your mat and walk because your sins are forgiven. And immediately there's some rumbling in the crowd. And the religious leaders have not spoken aloud, but they've grumbled. And Jesus knows their head and he knows their heart. He says, which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven or take up your mat and walk? And they're stunned. They don't know what to say to Jesus. And then Jesus says this, I'm doing this so that you will know that the Son of Man has authority to say to the man who cannot walk, your sins are forgiven. And in their minds, they're saying, no one can forgive sins but God. This is outrageous. First, these four clowns tear the roof apart, and now Jesus claims to be God. Did we get that right? He said he can forgive sins. Only God can forgive sins. So it started off as a pretty simple, familiar story. Jesus helps somebody who needed help, uh, turns into a roof tearing apart party and a big controversy with the religious establishment of the day. I'm gonna talk about this for three nights with you. And here's what I hope you'll take home tonight. There are three groups of people here. There are the concerned. These are the four men who loved their friends so much that they were concerned and willing to take extreme measures. Maybe we should go beyond concern and say they were compassionate. But when we say compassionate, remember, it means to do, come means with, and you know what passion is. So the, these men were not just concerned, they were compassionate. They stand in contrast to the people who were the crowd. We just came for the show, and we got a better show than we expected. The music wasn't very good today, the preaching was mediocre, but this Jesus guy, hey, he tore the roof apart. And they were just, just the crowd, they came to see what Jesus would do next. And third, they're the critics. So you got the concerned, you got the crowd, you've got the critics. You know who the critics are, they're the religious establishment that says, you can't say that, you can't forgive sins, only God can forgive sins. Are you saying you're God? Who do you think you are? That's what they're thinking in their heads and their hearts, and Jesus knew it. What brings me to the conclusion tonight is these three groups of people, the concerned, the crowd, or the critics. Every one of us fits into one of those three crowds. Are you just the onlooker? Are you critical of what's going on? Or are you concerned and compassionate? I bet you're the compassionate. I know you, you're good people, and you love the Lord, and you wouldn't be in any other group but the one that's like Jesus. Thanks for joining us tonight.